What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Tuesday, January 18th, and guys, I have something exciting to share with you, and that is the decimated marketplace. And yes, this is NFTs regarding vehicles, apartments, and so much more. So once we dive in, into this, we're gonna learn what you can do to participate, how you can acquire these, but also what to look forward to, right? So be sure to like that button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to join our Patreon page for insider trade tips and more, but most importantly, hit that subscribe button. We wanna reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers and guys, your support has helped this channel out so much and it also helps me to provide this amazing content for you. So with that said, let us begin. So as you well know, Decimate is gonna be built on the Solana blockchain. Uh, the token is the DIO token, which you can find on Radium or the Hubie Global Exchange. But this is a reason for you to acquire the DIO token. Other than that, I'm feeling very bullish on the game itself, but you need to have DIO tokens to acquire these assets. Now, as you can see, there is a lot going on in this marketplace and there's a lot that's going to be going on hopefully within the next two to three months, but we wanna gear you up in order to acquire these assets. So the first slide I wanna show you is so many of these different vehicles are coming out almost every week and they have different designs and what i love about them is that they have this cyberpunk feel to it a futuristic blade runner uh rust feel right we want to see the adoption of AAA gaming into the blockchain world and decimate is geared up to do that i mean just look at this megabyte right it says that it could fit up to four players inside but also it allows people to travel in super speeds across the map in exchange for the dio token now when it says in exchange for a dio token does that mean that you can pay for this in dio tokens or that you can help transport other people and get DIO tokens in rewards. Well, that remains to be seen, but the fact that that is part of the gameplay, how the DIO token can be utilized, is why I love this game. It just is so well thought through, and they're taking their time on it, but at the same time, they've been working on this for three to four years, so this thing is already like primed to do so well. Another one they just released today was, uh, they have another vehicle. This is more of a, like a Jeep apocalyptic vehicle. Again, this they, they, they are touching on so many different points from you know, cities that have futuristic elements, but also uh, a cyberpunk vibe, but also they have the apocalyptic uh, outside world, which is dust, sands, uh, abandoned buildings, abandoned malls, uh, run down bridges. And this vehicle allows you to travel through those dunes, those sandy deserts easily. And as you can see here, it says that you need to invest, meaning you need to buy that token. You can obviously you can buy it on Hubie, but you also can talk about this development on Discord. Uh, the next slide is going to be uh, also that they're built on the Unreal Engine 5. That is awesome. That is the recent newest Unreal Engine. So that is officially confirmed. It's not just some old Unreal Engine software that they're building on. This graphics are going to be out of this world. And just, you know, Unreal Engine is updating their software as much. And so that means Decimated is also updating theirs. So if you're ever experiencing any delays with the game, well, guess what? They're, Decimated is doing their best to catch up with technology and that's the most important part. Now this one is something very exciting as well. Now this is an old post back on January 7th, but they're giving you an inside look of uh, apartments. Now it says, welcome to your new home. Now that's just my idea. That's what I'm speculating on is that this is uh, a way to commute from apartment to apartment, right? And so I can see here, it's a, it's a corridor, it's a hallway. It allows you to meet other players. It allows for that intimate, excellent visual view. I mean, just look at the lighting. Lighting and shadowing is most important when it comes to gaming, and it's really giving you the actual feel. Because the more realistic these metaverses, these gameplays are, the more you're gonna to wanna to feel entrenched in playing it as well. And then this next one is basically the footage of how you could see a first person view of how you're gonna see your apartment, right? So when you enter your apartment, you have all these different elements where you can walk in, have a bedroom, and you can basically just have this immersive feel. Now you can use maybe possibly VR goggles, but even on your own computer screen, this is just, intimately uh, awesome. Like, this is what I want to see. And it's really hard to find gameplay out there that's like this, just to have that visual realistic element, right? All right, so the next one is uh, something that Decimate had retweeted. And I thought this was a really great point, which was they said uh, from MM Labs, customize your own cyberpunk apartment, store your gear, rent it out, run your flex in a 64 kilometer square real metaverse. Now, the reason I think this is actually interesting, why would Decimate retweet this? One thing that really stood out to me was rent it out. Now, 
that means like we want to incentivize people to make money off of this game not to just play it and just you know make money from killing other people they have this honor system right where you can't uh well if you decide to kill somebody to to, to uh, steal their tokens you could be penalized for that now that that's just you know me saying it out of my own words, you know, be sure to do your own research and watch their videos on their Twitch stream or on the YouTube channel. But there's a lot of integrity. They, they think of the whole ecosystem and how people are going to think about running this game because they don't want people to just uh, make money off of others, take advantage of them. They, there has to be an honor system, right? So uh, when it comes to renting out your apartment, imagine that's another element on top of what they're thinking of, which is that you can make money by giving your apartment, renting it out to other people, and literally rewarded in DIO tokens. And right now, only DIO is the token that they're using, and they're only focusing on that. And I think that's really great because they're not focusing on all these other tokens because some some have like two to three tokens. I'm like, guys, what are we doing here? But they're like, let's focus on DIO. So that's really cool. Now let's focus on the marketplace, right? Because I'm just digging all these visual elements. Now with these vehicles, uh, I think they are going to do very well, but I'm going to focus on just a, f uh, a couple and that's going to be the hover car and the hover cop bike. All right. So let's start with this, the hover bike. Now, uh, it says, would you like to own your very own hover bike? There are a limited number in existence and they will be on sale at the highest bidders very soon. I want to clarify this and we're going to talk about the bidding thing at the very end because I spoke to the team on their discord page and on telegram. Uh, what I love about these different designs is that they've already allowed you to visually see what you're going to be acquiring. And this is this is the Unreal Engine software, right? We're talking about realistic views and you can see the little details in these designs. I mean, look how close I'm going to this vehicle and you can see the little elements in all of this, right? This is what we want. We want to see the the convincing side that this seems so realistic especially when we play our games we expect this out of our xbox games especially our playstation games as well so i'm looking forward to acquiring this bike hopefully if i can bid on it hopefully i can win that'd be great another one is the cop car right what i love about these uh police and cop cars and why i'm focusing on these as well is because you have to have a good history, a good track record when playing the game. You can't have any criminal activity. You have to have a good track record. And that's based on their choice as the game, uh, the gamers, developers, that's their choice as the creators. Stefan, the creator as well, uh, wants people to have integrity within this game. That's really cool in my opinion. And I just love this bike. I like that you can fly around. This reminds me of Blade Runner. This is when uh, the main character of Blade Runner would you know, take their own, you know, undercover vehicles. But this is taking the element of you can drive on the road, but you can also fly in the air. And this is really cool. Imagine what you're going to be like when you're traveling across the universe in this, uh, no, not the universe, but the city of Decimated in this vehicle. Now, one thing I want to keep in mind is this uh, D marketplace. Why is that important? Well, when we go back to uh, apartments, you'll see that city apartment sector one, two, and three are on the marketplace. Now, this is fairly new. This wasn't originally on there, but why is it only one, two, and three? So let's just say, for instance, we're gonna click on number one. Now, at first, when I thought uh, about this apartment, it was that it was gonna be a buy only uh, option, but it's actually only bidding uh, because I was very confused here. Is it bidding or is it buying? Uh, but that, that means that only three apartments are gonna be available for bidding. And that's why for these three apartments, uh, when you go to, uh, say for instance, sector number two, it says that you can either buy it uh, or bid it on decimated or D market. Now, when I go to D market and I click on that link, it takes me to this website. And I wanted to know what is D market? What can you do with this? And when you go to the marketplace, it takes you straight to this zone, uh, which is basically where you can uh, target bid or you can buy. And you can select different ones, right? Uh, so say for instance, this one's not locked, but if I wanted to select this one, you could buy this little thing for like 2000 and there's a target bid right there as well. So I'm guessing they're going to integrate uh, their NFT marketplace using this platform, but you know, that's just me speculating. That's just the link that they have on their website. I haven't fully interacted with this, but do keep in mind, maybe you should do your own research and learn about what DMarket is. Maybe go online or go on YouTube to learn how to utilize this and how you can step ahead and possibly win these apartments. So I think that is absolutely really cool. So I wanted to clarify with them, are the NFT sales on the marketplace going to be a one-time purchase or bidding only? Their team said uh, the bidding system, like an auction. So some items will be purchasable by anyone at any time, 
by NFTs will have in auctions. Uh, but when users sell their NFTs, they can set a fixed price or run an auction. So they're already allowing you to understand that once you acquire these things, uh, you can set their price, you can set an auction on your own time once the marketplace goes live. Uh, another thing uh, that I found really interesting in the Discord chat was somebody asked, have the, NF uh, have the apartment NFT sale price been announced yet? Uh, they were replying, no, not yet. And they also went to say, at the moment, DIO has no staking system running, but soon we will have staking in our NFT apartments. My gosh, that's so cool. Where players can stake DIO and be rewarded in-game customizations or more DIO. We have the system in development. Will it be ready in, a, uh, it will be ready in a few months. This is interesting, right? Like you can rent out your apartment, but you also can stake your rewards in your apartment to receive more DIO. Guys, there's so many ways to earn DIO. Uh, and DIO right now is, is at an affordable price. And the, to me in my projection, I do believe we could expect five to $20 in this next bull run for DIO. I'm so bullish on this thing. Another uh, screenshot I want to share with you was on Discord, uh, Stefan, the creator, wanted to verify this. He said, we want to reward people who are involved in the game. So we will likely enable staking for users that hold their DIO in the game wallet. Now, we don't know what that game wallet's going to look like, if it's going to be using Phantom, Soulflare, or any other uh, Solana-based wallet. He continues, but apartment owners will get higher staking rewards. My gosh, I hope you guys can get this. I hope you guys can get the apartment. Now, Bunny says, will the NFT drop on Magic Eden or Decimated website? Stefan says decimated website only. Good to know. Good to know. If you guys are confused out there, stay undecimated. And if you see any duplicates on Magic Eden, that's a scam. It's fake. Uh, Pinnacle says apartments will be bought using DAO tokens only, right? Uh, Stefan says, yes, thought we might enable a fiat gateway. In translation, if you're interested in buying these apartments or maybe buying other things on the marketplace, there may be an option where you could just use USDT or your own local fiat currency. That remains to be seen. More developments will come hopefully in the short to midterm. Bunny says, any plans on timeline, Feb or March? He says, we don't want to commit to a deadline because there are complex systems. There may be delays such as, you know, Unreal Engine software, integrating everything together. But he says, but we're aiming for Q1. Yes, guys, Q1 is going to be February, March or April. We don't know, but it's hopefully within a time frame. Even Stefan says he's hoping for that time frame. Again, don't take what they're saying seriously because they want it to be perfect for you because their game has to be perfect at most so that you can enjoy it. if there are any glitches just like real gaming companies which happens all the time it can happen and a real story about cyberpunk 2077 which came out it did not do so well people experienced glitches and that's a triple a game studio don't forget and if you want to see documentaries about that or go online there are plenty of short films about how 20 uh, cyberpunk 20 2077 had actual technical issues and fans across the world were pissed off and yes the game was released at GameStop and other gaming studios packaging and everything so they you know decimated is going to do quite well because I think they're starting really small rather than really large right and they don't have to worry about a distribution system because all of this is web 3 online blockchain technology that's the advantage that decimated has over these AAA gaming studios Last thing I want to show you is the price. Now the price of decimated is at 35 cents. It is a good deal, guys. Right now the market cap is 16 million. And I keep talking about the decimated token in my previous videos, which I'll just share one of them on the upper right hand side. But guys, DIO token, I'm accumulating. I'm actually an octopus getting into the fish stage. And if you have, if you don't know the holder rankings, again, there's a link on the upper right. Feel free to check that out to see where you stand and where you need to accumulate your tokens. But guys, this is a great opportunity. Once the marketplace goes live, guess what's going to happen with the token price? It's going to go up regardless of where the bear market or bull market is going to be. It's going to go up in price because that's how it works. It incentivizes people to accumulate this token either through Radium or Hubie. And don't forget, this token is not even listed anywhere else except for Radium and Hubie. Just wait. It's going to be listed on other exchanges. Imagine KuCoin. Imagine Coinbase. Imagine Gate.io and so much more. There's so much. MEXC, there, there's a ton of platforms out there waiting to get decimated. Because it's built on the Solana blockchain, Solana has great relationships with everybody and their technology, their software. It's just a great framework. And so guys, I can go on and on about this, but I'm super excited for the marketplace. 
and you should too. So get ready for this. Be sure to accumulate your DIO tokens. And none of this is financial advice. This is just my own financial opinion and entertainment, but I am going to be accumulating more DIO tokens down this road and I cannot wait for the coming months ahead. So guys, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? Are you excited for these NFT sales that are gonna go live within Q1? And which ones are you looking forward to buying? Are you looking forward to buying the apartment, the vehicles? Are you gonna be uh, looking forward to you know flipping them for reselling it? Are you gonna be staking your DIO to tokens within the apartment? Or are you going to be renting out your uh, apartment for DIO tokens? There's so much to learn, but I wanna hear your thoughts down below. So guys, with that said, don't forget to like that button if you liked everything that you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more decimated videos. With that, guys, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.